Hey everybody, this is Dave from Steel City Jones Flight Academy. In this video, we're going to answer some questions that we've been getting. One question in particular was, how does the rain shield work and how do you put it on? So simple enough, we have a really good thorough video that we've already done on this on our YouTube channel and you'll see that in your upper left hand corner of the screen. So please make sure that you check that out if you want to see, you want to know everything about this. But I'll sum this up really quickly for you. So this aircraft is what's called IP43 rating. It's water resistive up to a certain point. But then it can exceed that and we can start getting some water in the aircraft, which we don't want to do. So when people started flying rather quickly and have your rain conditions that exceeded IP43, you know, people were getting some water inside the aircraft and the aircraft were failing and they were dropping like flies. They were just dropping out of the, out of the sky. So what our folks at Florida Drone Supply did was we started printing up some of these covers. And this is the rain shield. And the rain shield, as you see, that's the front of it. And this is the back of it. And it has this nice foam cover that's compressible. And that right there is going to give you an airtight seal around the whole entire top part of the air vent and we did some really nice testing and essentially after flying four full sets of batteries and heavy wind going full speed in sport mode after we flew four consecutive flights this entire front air vent was bone dry so now i'm going to show you how to put the rain shield on the aircraft we're going to take these sides and we're simply just going to pull, pull them out. We're just going to sort of pull them out and then we're going to be pulling it out so that the outsides, outside parts of this cover here are on the outside of these little metal brackets. We're going to go ahead and just like that, it's on. And you're going to see and you can test this, there should be a nice airtight seal right here where that foam is on the top of this. That way, that's really the biggest thing that way that we're gonna protect the, maj the majority of the water from going into the air vent. So that's how you put this on. Simple enough, if it's dry outside, keep it in your good professional case and only use it as needed. We don't wanna restrict the airflow to the air vent if we don't need to. Uh, you know, it's been, Thousands of people have flown with this without any problems, but we definitely want to just keep it off when we don't need it, just to keep that extra low airflow going into there, just as an extra precautionary measure. So with that said, hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, please help us grow the channel, hit the subscribe button, and if there are any questions that you have that you'd like to, us to answer, like the one we just did, please drop us a line down in the comment section below. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon. If you like this video and like to see more free videos in the future, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, if you're interested in free lessons on how to fly drones, discounts on drone equipment, discounts on insurance, or access to our exclusive drone video library, check out our website, steelcityflightacademy.com.